I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment here in Currents, Texas. Hey, today we wanted to talk about a, a series of tractors we've never really gone into, which is a 6700 series from Massey Ferguson. This happens to be a 6713. These are available in a 6712 or 6713, and you can even get this in an open station tractor. But this is the largest tractor in, this, in the Global Series lineup. So the Global Series have been really well known for the, you know, a, a, just a good, heavy, you know, usable tractor that kind of, kind of, in, it's not an economy class tractor, but it's, it's pretty affordable, or it's pretty attractive from a price point standpoint for what you get in terms of capabilities, functionality, and things like that. So the smallest in this series is a 4700, and it goes to 5700, and here's the 6700. So a couple loader options for this. We always order it with either with either the self-leveling or non-self-leveling FL loader. Uh, it's going to come with the soft ride and be a really nice loader for you with great capacities. The uh, all these hookups are going to be Euro, and I know there's probably some of you out there that are like. I want skid steer and that's fine but i'll tell you if you've ever used a euro i don't know anybody who's ever wanted to go back to skid steer once they go to euro and on our larger tractors it's just not an option the capacity of these loaders is so is such that it it just it, we, we do better off with the euro connection so that's the way the that we're going to be connected to the front here um kind of moving back we're utilizing an agco power 4.9 liter four cylinder diesel engine um the agco power engines it, formerly Sisu have been in these Massey tractors now for over 20 years. Very reliable and it's a good engine. No regen on these tractors. I know there's some out there in the market that have def and regen. That's not the way this tractor is configured. We do have an SCR on this tractor, but it's it's not it's not having to regen and, and use def. We're just going to be using def on this tractor. And a key point to know, we're warrantying this emission systems for five years and 3,000 hours. So well in excess of the original machine warranty, we are still warrantying the emission system. So I know a lot of people, oh, I gotta avoid emissions and I understand that the frustration that goes into that. But just so y'all know that this emission system is gonna be covered for, for many years to come after you buy the tractor. Uh, you'll notice on the 6700 series that we get into a larger tire package because it is a little bit larger tractor. Um, so it's, it's got, it's these, this has the 38s and there's a couple other tire options that you can pick from. They're all radial tires though. And they're all these trailer boards, uh, very, very high end tire, but also having that radial standard is important. Even on down to the 4700, we're using radial tires. Not every manufacturer can say that in this class of tractor. Sometimes it's an upgrade. These are going to come standard. So kind of moving around to the back. We also have the ability to control our three point from each side of this tractor. So there's three point controls over there and three point controls over there. And also just a quick little tidbit from an operational standpoint, the park brake does have to be up and to utilize these, you have to push down, up, and then you can push and hold which direction you go. And it's a progressive style adjustment for this three point. So the longer you hold it, the faster it's gonna, be, it's gonna go. So it's worth noting. Uh, when we come around here, we do have these, these telescopic ends for our category two hookup. So it's a nice feature to help you hook up to those three point implements that you really can't maneuver. Um, it is a solid straight axle. It's got, you know, it's got a lot of weight built into this chassis and you can see the size of the rams that are lifting this three point. We've got lots and lots of three point lift capacity. Uh, three remotes is gonna come standard. So you got one, two, three here and you can also control the flow back here. So on some of these classes of tractors, they're not giving you all of the ability that, that, that we have built into this 6700, but we have the ability to control flow and we have three remotes come standard. So you'll, you'll find a lot of other manufacturers don't offer that. Let's wait until he gets done because he's gonna come hauling ass out of there. Or maybe not. Okay. It's still recording? It's still recording? Great. So uh, one other thing, we, do, we also have the adjusters on both sides of our, of our three point links. So it is kind of nice because you can change either one and it might be helping you hook up to that heavier implement. So it's worth noting that we have that as well. Um, let's hop up in the cab. <clears throat> Still going? Yeah. So as we start to hop up in the cab, if you've been around the Global Series tractors, you're gonna recognize quite a bit of this. Uh, it's very, very, very similar to our 4700, 5700, and 6700 series tractors where our buddy seat always comes standard. 
So we always have that buddy seat included in the, in the base price. It's not something that we're gonna make you pay extra for. But as we move up, a few things you're gonna notice right off is we have a very comfortable seat that has a lot of functionality. So we can actually swivel our seat. It of course is air ride, but there's adjustments for, for the back of the seat. There's adjustments for armrests. There's just a lot of functionality and, and, and adjustments that we can do with the seat. That's one of my favorite things right off is, is, what, is how comfortable this tractor is to operate. Um, moving on from there, what you'll notice, we obviously have our three, three controls for our, for our uh, hydraulics, and we can lock those into a fl full flow position. So if you have any implements that need that full flow, maybe a sprayer running a hydraulic pump or something like that, we have the ability to lock those. We have a, a preset engine speed that we can, we can set. It's extremely easy to set. All you do is select the speed you want and push and hold that orange button until it beeps and now you have your, your preset set. Um, on our three point control, we can set that position and then we'll just use the up and down button to actually put it or to, to raise and lower the three points. So we'll never have to move that again. And there's some other adjustments up here like the upper limit stop. So maybe we don't need to pull that three point all the way up and out of the ground. Maybe we just need it to come up 12 inches or so. You can set how high it goes so it doesn't come too far up and it'll get right back in the ground. All that is set here on the pillar. We also have the ability to change how fast it goes and that obviously the, the draft control is all, all set right here. In addition to, we can put this in suspension mode so when we're driving down the road, it'll kind of let it float a little bit. So if you have a heavy three-point implement, it'll take some of the brunt off the tractor. Well, that's nice from an operator standpoint, but it's also nice from, from just not beating the tractor up too much. Um, moving over, we have a, we have a two, I like to call it two-speed hydraulics, but really what it is is it's a, it's a pump coupler function. So when we don't need all the other functions of the tractor, we can couple those pumps and we can use all that hydraulic flow back to the back. And we have like something like north of 26 gallons a minute in, in hydraulic flow. You can see it when we utilize the loader because when we kick that pump on, the loader actually operates faster. So a lot of times I'll refer to it as a two-speed loader. Um, so it's nice to have that capability. It does have electronic engagement of the PTO. Um, you can kick that on and engage that. We have electronic engagement of our four wheel drive as well as our differential lock. So there's a lot of nice functionality. <clears throat> when we move over to the transmission, most tractors in this category, they pretty much all have the 12 by 12 transmission. And maybe in the premium version, there's some other options and we have those options as well. In this tractor, we're gonna have the 12 by 12, but we're gonna, instead of doing four gears and three ranges, we're gonna do six gears and two ranges. And so I like that because it just gives us more options without having to switch that range. Uh, we also have a D-clutch button built into the gear shift. So if I'm shifting gears from third to fourth, I don't need to use the clutch. I just need to push that button and grab another gear. So from a transmission standpoint, it's extremely simple, but yet gives us a lot of features. So it's reliable, but we still get a few premium features that make driving this tractor really nice. Um, and as far as the shuttle goes, our shuttle lever has a little extra functionality that others don't. So it's, it's truly a three position shuttle lever, but we can also, if we need to stop for a momentary you know, time, maybe we're kicking a bailout or whatever, we can stop just by pulling up on that shuttle lever. We don't have to go back to neutral to stop or push the clutch. And that's really nice. So if you gotta stop for a little bit to kick that bailout, you can just pull up on it, do what you need to with your bail, let back down on that shuttle lever and get back to going. And we also have a potentiometer built in here that we can adjust how aggressively that clutch applies. And so it's nice to have that ability there as well. And one little thing that not everybody notices, but we have a tilt and telescopic steering wheel. It, it just allows you to customize the tractor to put, it exact, put the controls exactly where you need them. And kind of finally, uh, over here on our, our joystick for the loader, we have that soft ride uh, button it's a, it's a toggle switch on the back side of the loader valve that we can turn on or off the soft drive for the loader. And if you're moving hay, especially if you're moving more than one bale, you've noticed your tractor bucking without that soft ride. When we kick it on, it lets that loader float and really just makes, makes it a much smoother ride. And of course, I keep going back to less stress on the tractor, less stress on the, on the, you know, the bolts and everything holding our loader on, especially when we're picking up multiple bales. Um, and we also have an integrated uh, third function switch. So if we want to integrate third function in, we can do that just by plugging in. Uh, 
Obviously there's some light switches. We've got a lot of lighting on this cab that comes standard. So there's two pillar lights and two roof lights in addition to our hood lights. And all those can be controlled by the switches on either the center console here or up on the side pillar. Oh, and one final thing to mention, all of these tractors are gonna come standard with three speeds for your PTO. So obviously your 540 and your 1000 speed, but there's also a 540 Eco speed. Because for most folks, you don't need 130 horsepower to run your 540 implement. Maybe your larger baler or something like that, you might need it. But there's probably some applications, whether it be a sprayer or whatnot, where you maybe are turning a PTO powered pump, that you don't need uh, full RPMs or you don't need it, you don't wanna have to burn that much fuel to run that 540 RPMs, you can just put it in 540 Eco and that, that'll save you fuel and, and keep that engine better for longer. So if y'all are looking for a tractor kind of in this category, this maybe this 120, 130 horsepower category, this is a good tractor to look at. I think if you start shopping around, you'll realize the price point's pretty solid, but I also think you're gonna notice that what you get in terms of capability, functions, uh, reliability, warranty, I just, I think that this is a great value uh, for what it is. And I think it stands up to, to basically any tractor in its class. I don't think you're gonna find a tractor that gives you what we're gonna give you for the, at the price point we're gonna do it at. Uh, so if you guys are interested in a new tractor, oh, and I sh it's worth mentioning that there are some ways to purchase these tractors that can sometimes save you money. It would be good to reach out to us. If you're looking at maybe getting into something like this, there are ways to save money. Uh, and, and still on these tractors, even in 2022, there are still ways to save money on these tractors. In fact, this tractor here uh, is going to a, to a customer of ours who pre-ordered it and saved some money. Um, it's actually going, uh, going to Kansas uh, to, to, a, to a customer of ours. And we've got a, like I say, he was able to save some money based on how he bought it. So it's worth making a phone call to see what, what if any of that applies to you. Uh, but as always, if you guys are looking for new Massey, per, Massey Ferguson equipment, we're your dealer here kind of in that south or the central and north Texas region, uh, kind of in between, you know, south of Dallas, east of Waco, kind of in that area. Um, but we're your, we're your Massey Ferguson dealer and we're actually the Massey Ferguson five-star dealer, one of only 10 in the nation. So, so we, we're pretty proud of that. And if you guys are interested in new Massey equipment, just give us a call, 903-270-0877. You can even text that number, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our Facebook. We'd be glad to help you any way we can. Thanks.